Hi there, and welcome to Wasson Woodworking. On today's episode, we're going to be making this birdhouse. But this is no ordinary birdhouse. No, sir, it's not. This birdhouse has an IP camera in it to allow me to watch the birds make their nests and raise their chicks and feed them and watch them fly out. So this should be a fun spring activity. Episode 2 will be all about putting in the cable and getting this to display up on a computer and showing how I will actually watch this on the computer. But for now, let's watch how this is made. So the first thing I'm going to do in making this birdhouse is cut all the boards to uh, width. I'm going to try to preserve most of the width, so I probably will not be doing much of that. But I'll be, um, as the boards are, in this case, uh, one by eights, they're seven and a quarter inches wide. I'm using cypress. Uh, it should hold up well to the weather. At least that's what the hope is. And I'm going to be using polyurethane glue when I put this together so that uh, I don't have to worry about the water uh, weakening the joints. Taking the cypress board, I now cut the end and make it nice and square, then flip it over using the stop on the miter gauge to cut two exact pieces 18 inches long. Once both of these pieces have been cut, I'll then take the miter gauge and adjust it to 54 degrees to cut the peak on the front and back panels, as you can see right here in this part of the video. So all you have to do is flip the board and do it again and they all become equal. Next up, I'm cutting the uh, boards for the um, sides and now I'm cutting the boards, trimming them down to width. Then I take some other boards and I put them into a jig I have that cuts vertically so I can get that 54 degree cut um, for the roof so that it goes together nicely as a miter. This is a very handy jig that I made years ago, and you need it because you can't cut more than a 45 with the board down, but with it up, you can get all those other angles between 45 and 90. So now it's time to drill the hole in the front of it for the birds to go in and out of. So I don't know what size it is, but that's what I'm gonna work on now. Put some scrap under this so it doesn't destroy my workbench. And uh, so we'll do that like this. It's important to hold on to this really well. Make sure you're slow at speed. And then through one side, close to it. I will then go to the other side. And simple as popping that out and now I got the hole. So I'm going to use Gorilla Glue to glue the boards together because it's waterproof. So when it's sitting out there in the high humidity and the rain, it won't fall apart. So I'm just going to take this. It's important to remember this is cured by water. So I'm going to do is put some of this down. And this stuff, by the way, sticks to your hands, something horrible. So on the inside, I want a piece that's going to go across like this. So just to make things seem right, I'm going to do this and then cut down at that angle, which is 36 degrees. So like that, like that, something like that. I'll cut two of these out. I'll hold them on the inside and nail from the outside. Then I can take that out. And then I'm going to actually end up covering everything in um, white aluminum on the roof to reflect the heat and make it waterproof. And then I will um, take this off and mark it. And then I know the thickness of the wood. Let's 
some scraps. We'll hold those in place and glue these into place and nail them as well. That's in place. I have to do one on the back. The camera will go in the center. So what I've done here is I've taken a piece of sheet aluminum and bent it to the right shape and it will provide the waterproofing to keep this uh, nice and dry on the inside and that will probably just be held down with some uh, um, double-sided tape and some epoxy. So that I have something to look at when I'm doing this. I am actually going to write uh, Wassel Woodworking on here. So I put a couple quarter inch drill bits down and I'm going to recess this about a quarter inch underneath the, uh, the birdhouse. I believe. Pushing this down and then from the sides I will then drill in um, some screws to hold the base that allow me to take it out and clean it later on. So that's it, it's got a quarter inch recess, so now I'll sand everything down. All right, it's now sanded, so I'm going to take this, I'm gonna put on some outdoor um, urethane varnish on it to protect the wood, and um, between that and this metal, it should do just fine, at least for a few years, and uh, then I will go hang it, so that'll probably be tomorrow at some point. Okay, so we're putting on the spar urethane. That'll help seal the wood. And I'm brushing it on where I would normally spray, but this is an outdoor project, so it really doesn't matter a whole lot. All right, so that's it for right now. I will close this back up, and I will just toss the brush. So this concludes part one of the two-part series on building the birdhouse. So far, we've built the birdhouse out of Cyprus and we put it together and I've actually hung it in the tree and part two is all going to be about the process behind of laying the ethernet cable in a trench getting it out to the tree running it up and displaying on my computer so that will come in about a week from now so just hold on for that one but for now um, I appreciate you watching this and if you got any comments please put them below subscribe today and I'll see you next time on Wassel Woodworking